Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I am quickly going to go uh, over some of the new features in the latest version of Enlighten. We've been working on it for a few months now and we're getting ready to release the beta. And uh, I wanted those who are testing the beta and potentially those who will be using the software in the future to know what the changes are. So the first uh, major change is the file format has changed. So older shows will have to be imported into Enlighten. And when Enlighten loads an old show format, uh, you'll get a dialogue and be directed to do a backup. Um, and then that way you have a backup of the original show, but the show file format will be changed to the new format. So uh, let me quickly create a new show here and I'll show you what, um, right? So the reason the show file uh, format has changed is because now we can um, patch fixtures with more than 32 channels per fixture. And that also um, applies to like multi-section fixtures. And I'll give you an example here. So I'm going to go to my Megalife folder. I am going to the Axis grid. And you'll notice that we have a 152 channel version here. So that is actually a 6 by 6 um, f grid fixture with, um, uh, you know, 36 LEDs in a matrix. So again, the change is you can now patch these. So I'm going to go ahead and patch them and let's do eight of those. And with this new version, it says not all um, will fit on one universe. Do you want to add more universes? I say yes, and that finishes. So let me show you the end result. So if I double click or uh, view uh, channel changes on this one, you'll notice this is on uh, universe three. So if I go to tools, DMX view, channel configuration, go to universe one, you'll see that it patched that on universe one, the first three fixtures, because that is what fit. And then on the next universe, it patched the next three. And on the last, it patched the last two. So again, the new version allows you to uh, patch um, fixtures with up to 256 channels and also with a matrix built in. Uh, it, it calculates the, the matrix and I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. Um, and let's go ahead and do that because we have matrix fixtures set up here. I am going to go to patch, create new virtual matrix and uh, we'll set it up as uh, 6, uh, 18 by 6 just as an example. And then so I've now created a matrix layer. The matrix thing is different than the old version because it's much more flexible and I'll show you how it is now. So I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on my first axis grid and you see they can just pop in there like that. So I've now assigned the first three axis grids to this uh, virtual matrix. I'll show you what you can do then. So when you click on the matrix layer, you see you can now modify all those um, fixtures. You can do a um, RGB effects just like you could before. Um, and then you can go to the matrix here and uh, apply these images, some of the animated GIFs. Um, and then you can also do live audio. So you can do an EQ. Uh, I don't have the sound set up here. You can also do live output video. So if uh, Enlighten is outputting live video, uh, let me see here. So yeah, I still have some video playing here. So if I go to my matrix and I hit live video, essentially what happens is Enlighten is transposing that video image directly to the matrix. So this is a pretty small matrix, so it's kind of hard to see the effect, but I think you get the idea once you scale that up. Another thing to mention is the new Enlighten has uh, 24 universes of output by default. So the first universe obviously is through your USB or, uh, to DMX converter, but then the next um, universes can be accessed through um, a node, the mega node, and um, yeah, so each of the nodes can output eight universes and you can have multiple nodes hooked up. So let's go to another cool feature. So one of the other new features is, uh, if you'll notice, there's a number, a gray number where um, you see it's one, two, three, four. So that's selectional. So I can actually go backwards and select my fixtures backwards and save that as a group and that selection order will apply to effects, 
uh, RGB effects, movement effects, all that. So that's the selection order is kind of cool because you can set up groups left to right, right to left from center, and you can do some really cool stuff. The effects engine is pretty cool because now you can do real-time effects in, in, in addition to generated effects. So originally we had uh, generated effects where it creates a 20-step chase. Well, I can now go select all my axis grid fixtures, press on this RFX, and now I'm running this effect, and I'll show you on the matrix. And I can change my speed, I can change my phase, I can change my size. Um, all that is done uh, in real time. So it's a real time effects, and it's not running a chase. If you'll notice, it's one step. But if I go back to my RFX, I can, again, change that. You could do some really cool stuff. One of the cool things that we do is mirror, so it takes it from the center of the selection and mirrors the, the uh, selection. So effects engine, real-time effects engine in Enlighten, brand new, really cool feature. You can do it on any channel. You can do it on strobe channels, pan and tilt. I can also do, for instance, a combination. So I have these two running now. So I have two effects running. I can go to my RFX tab and create new. Call it test one and now I have my um, test one there so I'm going to clear that if I hit test one again with those fixtures selected both those uh, RFX values and offsets and everything are remembered and so it, it allows you to create RFX presets that you can apply to fixtures very quickly so um, that is some of the cool stuff. I'm going to do a couple more examples here, but I think I've covered much of the, the really cool stuff. If you guys have questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We're at um, mega-light.com, and uh, you can also email me wp at mega.lighting. Um, let me know how the testing is going. Let me know how you like the new features, and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for checking it out.